The concept of Jesus as the one who gives us life is deeply rooted in Christian theology and the teachings of the New Testament. To fully understand this idea, we need to explore it from various angles, including biblical references, theological interpretations, and practical implications for believers. Biblical Foundation The New Testament is replete with references to Jesus as the source of life. One of the most direct statements comes from Jesus himself in John 14 verse 6, where he says, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This declaration positions Jesus not only as a guide and a teacher, but as the very essence of life itself. Another key passage is John 10 verse 10, where Jesus states, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Here, Jesus emphasizes the abundance of life he offers, suggesting that it is not merely biological existence, but a fuller, richer experience that includes spiritual vitality. The Gospel of John frequently highlights this theme. In John 1 verse 4, we read, In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. This verse underscores the idea that life, in its most profound sense, originates in Jesus. Similarly, in John 11 verses 25 to 26, Jesus declares, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. This statement connects Jesus' role in giving life with his power over death, pointing to eternal life as a central tenet of Christian faith. Theological Interpretations Theologically, the concept of Jesus giving life is multifaceted. One crucial aspect is the idea of spiritual rebirth. In John 3 verse 3, Jesus tells Nicodemus, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. This notion of being born again implies a transformative process that brings believers into a new kind of life, one that is characterized by a renewed relationship with God. The Apostle Paul expands on this idea in his letters. For example, in Ephesians 2 verses 4 to 5, Paul writes, But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. Paul describes a shift from spiritual death to life through the grace of Jesus Christ. This life is not earned by human effort, but is a gift from God, enabled by Jesus' sacrificial death and resurrection. Another important theological concept is eternal life. This is the promise that believers will not only experience a renewed life on earth, but also a continuation of life with God after physical death. In John 17 verse 3, Jesus prays, now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Here, eternal life is defined not just by its unending duration, but by its quality of knowing and being in relationship with God and Jesus. Practical Implications For Christians, the belief that Jesus gives life has profound practical implications. It influences their worldview, their values, and their daily living. Transformation of Life the experience of receiving life from Jesus is often described in terms of transformation. This can include a change in behavior, attitudes, and priorities. For instance, many believers report a sense of peace, purpose, and joy that they attribute to their relationship with Jesus. This transformation is sometimes reflected in moral and ethical behavior, as followers of Jesus strive to live according to his teachings. Community and Relationships the life that Jesus gives is also meant to be shared within a community of believers. The church, described as the body of Christ in 1 Corinthians 12 verse 27, is a place where this new life is nurtured and expressed. Believers support each other, grow together, and work collectively to serve others, embodying the life and love of Jesus in practical ways. Hope and Assurance the promise of eternal life provides believers with hope and assurance, especially in the face of suffering and death. This hope is not just for the future, but impacts how they live in the present. It offers a perspective that transcends the difficulties of life, giving meaning and purpose even in challenging circumstances. Mission and Evangelism Believers are also motivated to share the life-giving message of Jesus with others. This mission is rooted in the Great Commission found in Matthew 28 verses 19 to 20, where Jesus commands his followers to go and make disciples of all nations. Sharing the gospel, 
The good news of Jesus' life-giving power is seen as a vital part of Christian practice.